Now, the person who said good food is the best medicine was definitely referring to this pancakes. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I always say to stay subscribed to the channel if you're not. So, guys, so let me quickly show you how I make that's a beefy pancakes that's gonna wow your taste bud. So now for the recipe we'll be needing our meat which is also known as our beef we'll be needing our thyme we'll be needing our curry powder we'll be needing salt not forgetting to get our onions our onions guys definitely <laughs> we'll be needing our onions any color of onions any type of onions just your onions and for the pancake butter we'll be needing our flour our sugar we'll be needing our mix make flavor our baking powder as well as our nutmeg so guys you want to get all your ingredients together to boil your meat down to the tender level so add your curry your thyme your onions and boil them it until it's tender now we want to start mixing our pancake solution so now add your flour your sugar your baking powder your milk flavor your nutmeg just add everything together guys add as much as possible feel free to add your eggs if you want add your butter if you so wish okay so guys you want to mix this up together make sure it is well combined like i would always say after combining everything together i mean all the dry ingredients you want to go in with your milk guys add your milk so i'm going to drop the full ingredients in the description box so be sure to check it out so guys add your milk together with heat and you want to give that another second good mix mix it up together make sure there is no lump so guys our beef is ready so you want to get your beef aside and make use of your broth aka your beef water get that beef water into your flour solution and you want to give that a good mix guys in case you're not a lover of onions please do yourself a favor of blending the onions before getting it into your flour solution now guys you want to give this a good mix mix it all up together and make sure it is well smoothened out to fasten the process in case you have a mixer now is the time to make it to use okay You want to take your time to spunting that out with no rush we are not rushing here we're trying to make it the leaky hey. so guys after that you want to add some water in case you don't like the consistency as for me it was somehow too thick so i had to add a little bit of water just pour a little bit of water to get your desired consistency now mix that up again everything is just about mixing and adding and mixing and mixing you want to mix it very well now at this point we're ready to get our beef into tiny stripes so you want to get that into pieces and we're going with a tiny stripes what i've preferred we use our blender but i'm trying to get the stripes perfectly so we're going to make use of our fork and our knife so do it just like i'm doing it here in this video it is tearing up in stripes and not just in any chunk or pieces stripes that's what we're getting at it is important to note that for you to get this meat easily into stripes you want to make sure that you cook your meat in a very tender form cook it to be very very soft now our meat is ready and it's time for us to give it a pan fry. You want to fry this up in your pan with just a little bit of oil. Make sure it is not too hard. You just want it to be a little bit crispy. You want to keep a close eyes on it. Don't just leave it. Make sure to turn it at intervals to make sure it is well fried. Just at this point, you want to get it immediately off the pan so it doesn't get burnt. 
get it off the pan and drain it off from the oil and then we want to move to our pancake solution you're going to get this meat directly into your pancake solution just like i'm doing in this video guys follow this process follow the steps and we're going to get the same result okay so you want to get this into your pan solution pancake solution rather and you want to mix this up very well mix it up very well so that the beef is going to circulate the flour solution so this way we get to enjoy the beef bite together we are having that bite of the beef together trust me no one is left out because this beef is evenly circulated so guys now is the time to fry our beef pancakes guys this is where it gets interesting you want to scoop that beef pancake into the greased pan make sure your pan is well greased and scoop it gradually spread it out in your pan to your desired shape and size and immediately you see that popping up in your pancake that is the sign that your pancake is ready to be flipped to the other side guys you want to repeat the same process make sure to just grease your pan with a little bit of oil and repeat the same process scoop your pancake solution make sure it is well cooked immediately you see that sign where it starts to pop up that is the right time for you to flip over to the other side to avoid it from burning okay so fry 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 repeat the same process until your batter solution is exhausted see eh? if you're not yet subscribed to my channel i don't know what else to say to you guys come on please hit that subscribe button now it's just by your right down below you see that subscribe button on your right hand side hit that subscribe button now and let's get cooking together guys i really love you to subscribe to this channel guys if you enjoy my recipe and let me know if you're going to be trying this recipe out now guys look at that look at that oh i love that that's so pleasing to the sight and it's going down into my belly <laughs> yummy to tummy right <laughs> My taste board is surely ready for this tantalizing experience. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have heard about food gasm before. <laughs> this is the vibe this beef pancake is giving me right now. <laughs> so guys, make sure to share this video with your fellow food lovers. And see, eh, until you try this beef pancakes out, you won't believe how satisfying they are. Bye! Just so you know that there is an inner chef in you waiting to unleash its creativity. Welcome to my culinary world. Trust you want to join me as we embark on a long journey to savor the magic of food and ignite our passion for cooking like never before. My fellow food enthusiasts, we go again on a gastronomic journey. And here is Teles Kitchen, a trope of culinary delight. Bon appétit. quickly show you how to make this plant first time of a bag and allow to cook nicely do not tell me you don't know the secret to fry the creepiest yam ever come closer and let me teach you how to make it let me know your thoughts in the comment section until then